Alright, Kenny, you said this is an historic day. Explain to me why. Well, this is the first time anybody's ever grown uh, second generation Elkhorn fragments in a nursery and put them back out in the water. People have replaced corals on the reef before, but these have been grown in a nursery. These are second generation fragments that have, we've been babying this for about a year and a half now. This one is from Snapper Ledge, it says SN1 right here. So this little frag was just a little tiny thing about the size of that when we put it on this disc and now it's grown over the disc. It's got a couple of hands coming out. It's ready to go on the reef. We've got uh, seven or eight hundred of these ready to go right now and uh, we're going to be starting to plant them on the reef. So it's, it's real exciting for us to be finally doing something with Elkhorn Coral. And you've done it with the staghorn, but the Elkhorn, that's what's new here, right? Yeah, we've planted uh, thousands and thousands of staghorn corals, but this is the first with the Elkhorn. There's one from Horseshoe Reef, which is probably the nicest stand of Elkhorn in the, uh, definitely the Keys, possibly the Caribbean. It's one of the just amazing. It seems like it's never been touched by disease or anything else. And uh, we found that this particular genotype does extremely well in our nursery. So we're going to start putting a lot of these around the reef and see if they'll do well everywhere we put them. I think they will. I think that's the exciting part about it. But we're going to mix them up, you know, find some winners and find some losers. And we're real excited. These are my babies. <laughs>